Let's be positive you too. ベイチャンネルはいどうも皆さんこんにちはベイですリマザードブロークンポーセリン、えー、こちらですねホラーゲームということでどうもですね、追われる怖さを追求しているような、まあ、名作クロックタワーのような怖さを体験できるゲームということで、えー、今年からですね、また、えー、ゲーム実況の方を始めていきたいと思います毎週必ず何かしら上げていこうと思っているのでチャンネル登録よろしくお願いいたしますそれで、えー、皆さんの評判の良かったゲームはですねチョイスして継続して配信をしていこうと思っているんですねで改めてゲームチャンネルの方を立ち上げているので継続するゲームの方はそちらの方で引き続き配信していくのでゲームチャンネルの方チャンネル登録お願いいたしますでは早速ですねなかなかもう初めから怖い雰囲気なんですけどやっていきたいと思いますでいきますさあ早速始まりました。You can't erase memories forever. They would be like erasing time itself. Memories and time go hand in hand. The consequences would be even more devastating than Alzheimer's disease. There would be no separation between pre and post trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers, for a common ground. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings, two opposing perceptions would coexist, overlapping and threatening one another, to the detriment of the one truth now shattered the so called porcelain memory. Oh. いきなり真っ暗ですよ。まあ、この子怯えてるねずっとうわなんか嫌な感じもう初めから嫌な感じだねさあじゃあちょっと歩いていきますかしかし暗いなん
簡単ですノックから怖いねトロノムの都会だのドライバードライバーを手に入れましたショック防止剤なんかね音が怖いねこのゲーム。音が。あ、なんか光ってるね。なんだ。いや、暗いのよ。明かりないのかな明かりが明かりはないのかんおなんか来たやばいやばいやばいやばいやばいちょっと待ってちょっと待ってちょっと待って危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ない危ないいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいどっか逃げられないかな。鳥かご。やっぱりいない。どこ行った。あ、来た来た来た。やばいやばいやばいやばい。ちょっと。しゃがまないしゃがまない。しゃがまない。いや、どうしたらいいんだこれ。いや、怖い怖い怖い怖い怖い。いや、一緒に来てる。いやいや。いやいやいややられたマジかよタイトルコールファミリーシークレットは非常に危険です。最も危険な世界です。第二の方法を探しています。ファミリーシークレットは非常に危険です。第二の方法を探しています。ファミリーシークレットは非常に危険です。第二の方法を探しています。ファミリーシークレットは非
So you chose to forget. For 49 years, I left a part of me behind at that time. I did everything they asked of me. Forget. But one day, that missing puzzle piece resurfaced, like dirt stuck beneath your fingernails. It is there, and always has been. Sometimes it is a song, a lullaby, or a certain item. But for me, that missing puzzle piece was a special person. A lonely one, just like me. Yes. Hello? Who is this? Ashman? Mr. Ashman. Andrea! The girl is here. Shall I let her in? Go on. Sit down. You know why you're here, young lady, don't you? Nazi <laughs> I am willing to turn a blind eye to the money and the cigarettes. Don't be fooled into thinking that I don't know about them. But for everything else, I refuse to do so. This is not a tourist resort, nor a playground. Breaking an entry? Larceny! What plans did you have for that gun? For God's sake, Jennifer, tell me! I don't know anymore. It seems you are a magnet for trouble. From what I'm reading, you caused a lot of hassle, especially at the Flemington Girls Institute. Other girls similar to you ended up straight in juvie. Did you know that? All I can do is apologize. I can assure you I never intended... Now, I want you to be honest with me, Jen. I think you'll find the resemblance to be quite substantial. Celeste Felton... You're her, aren't you? I have no idea what you're talking about. As your legal guardian, I have full authority to get in touch with the police and let your adoptive parents know about this. It is my duty to do so. That is not me! Young lady, what are you running away from? You are safe here. You can talk to me about it. I'm serious! <sighs> Very well. We will have to talk about this again. Considering what has happened, I have made arrangements to give you new chores. You will help Eliza in the kitchen. But, sir! You will do your best. I've always done my best here! I seriously doubt that. When you become of age, you will do as you wish and as you see fit. But until then, you are under my care and you will do as I say. Run along now.
Oh, and by the way, Lindsay will no longer be a problem for you. What do you mean? She insisted that I send you elsewhere. Instead, I have organized to have her transferred to another facility. They will be coming to collect her next week. You may leave. The bathroom in room number 212 has to be cleaned. You also need to take in the dry laundry. Oh, and don't forget that you'll be helping Elisa in the kitchen after lunch. Okay. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated. He knows how to behave, but you must be careful. Let sleeping dogs lie. I know what he's capable of, and he does too. After his parents' death. Mr. Ashman Jr. did everything by himself here. What happened to them? Dead, my dear. Like all those who grow old. And I'm sure the mourning sped up the process. Mourning? For the nearby convent. Have you seriously not heard of it? The convent just went up in flames one day. Even this building was partly damaged. Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. I'll start with room 213. No, that's enough. It's a horrible story. Did Mr. Ashman have something to do with it? Shh! Lower your voice! You'll get us thrown out of here. Is that how it is? <sighs> It seems that Mr. Ashman had the bad habit. <sighs> oh, God. Obviously, the parents didn't like this at all. So they sent him to a family relative in the north and his sister Gloria to the convent. <sighs> if it were me, I would have done the opposite. For him, the arrangement only lasted a few months. For her instead? Well, that's another story entirely. He had always been mommy and daddy, sweetheart. Of knocking? <laughs> no way. It is so last year. Everything okay with Ashman? Of course. Fantastic. Never better. Everything is great. He got angry, didn't he? Why would you care, Lynn? Tell me. I was just asking. Asking what? It's none of your business. What are you talking about? can't be upset with me forever. I'm trying not to be, but my arm keeps reminding me. I didn't mean to. It was only an accident. Do you have any idea how guilty I feel? Jen, please. I feel so shit about it. I didn't want it to get to this point. I already know it all. Ashman told me everything. What are you talking about? You suggested to him that I be transferred elsewhere. Is that what you wanted? You're really a bitch sometimes. A bitch who let herself be fooled. But no, in the end, you withdrew yourself. You didn't want to get in trouble. I didn't want to get in trouble. Well said. 
You think we would have gotten away with it, right? Go away, Lin. Leave me alone. No! You're, you're going to let me speak. Go away! <laughs> Just please! Open the fucking door! Fuck you, Lin! Fuck you! You were disloyal. I thought we knew each other, but I was wrong. Go away. I beg you. My God, I have to leave this place at once. 何が起こるのかうんどういうことうんうんどういうことだなんかすごく不気味な状態ですが。えー、ひとまずですね、今回はここまでにしておきたいと思います。えー、続きですね、えー、評判が良かったら続いていこうと思っているので、えー、こちらのチャンネル登録とゲームチャンネルのチャンネル登録お願いいたします。ではまた、バイバイ、ベイでした。